Have you ever heard of the video game Minecraft? I just learned about it because of my friend, Father Jim Hederman. Minecraft is the most popular video game ever. Sold some 300 million copies. As of 2023, has 140 million active users. And so it's a very popular game. And my friend, Father Jim Hederman, wants to use it to evangelize gamers, to reach them with the gospel, especially using sacred art, but also bringing some devotions into it, like the Stations of the Cross, and the Stations of the Eucharist. So we're going up there to talk to him. He's been a pastor in Oneonta, which is about 35 miles northeast of Irondale. It's a beautiful fall day here. We've got the fall colors. And Oneonta is a picturesque area it's right at the foothills of the Appalachian mountain range. And it's actually in a valley between three mountains, Sand Mountain, Red Mountain, and Straight Mountain, in an area called Murfrees Valley. And Father Hedeman's been the pastor at Corpus Christi Catholic Church there for eight years. And the parish has grown under his leadership because he's just a very fatherly man. The people love him. Let me just tell you one story to give you an idea about the, uh, the bright intellect that he has. He and I were in seminary together. And one time we were driving back from seminary, and it was a long drive. And he was driving, and I had a magnetic chessboard in my lap. And I knew that he's far superior to me in playing chess. And I only agreed to play him if he would start without his queen. Well, think about this. He's driving. He's got the chessboard in his mind. <laughs> he's not looking at the chessboard. He's starting without his queen. And in 20 minutes, he had checkmated me. <laughs> so he's a bright guy, but he's also got a great sense of humor and just a warmth toward his people. So I hope you enjoy our visit with Father Jim Hederman. up here I was telling our viewers about you getting involved in Minecraft mm -hmm. and how that's really the top video game and even today there's so many people still using it. Why did you get involved with Minecraft? I was pastor of Russellville, Good Shepherd in Russellville, mm -hmm. and there was a young man who said, I don't want to get confirmed. <laughs> and and we're, his dad is all concerned and we're praying for him and so I go over and then I see down in the basement there, he's playing this game. Never seen it before. And he was playing Minecraft. And so, what is that? And, and he started telling me, I says, I'm going to try to put message of the gospel and basically do a roller coaster of a mass within Minecraft. <laughs> and, and so you start off at, on a roller coaster and you go up and you begin Nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. And then you go down for the Kyrie Eleison, you go down to these dark depths and all these, these, these monsters and things and you have to get rid of them. And then you, the glory, the shofar horn, you go climbing back up and it's the, just, and it's, a, and he says, I want to get confirmed. <laughs> it, 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 so that was, but then I just did it just, mm -hmm. you know, it didn't take me very long because, it's like uh, the Lord just showed me exactly how to import images in there very easily. Yeah. And it looks like it's very, very hard, but it's not. And then, but it really like, impressed everyone. And he started showing all his friends. And so it began wow. a little ministry. And it was wonderful. Now, have anybody been interested in it? Anybody watching those uh, videos you put together or that Minecraft that you've created? After, after seven years, I have three views. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they, right now, there's altogether, it's over 600,000 total views. Wow. And one of them, um, especially the Stations of the Cross, mm. um, which was done with a, just a hymn um, of the Sabbat Mater, mm -hmm. uh, and not the music, just not the word, just the hymn, and then each of the stations. And it was like a five-minute video. Mm -hmm. So the attention span, you know, right. and so long 
longer ones, but a shorter extension span, and it had a fish eye effect. You know, and the kids like all these special effects. Right. And so it, it, it was actually accidental. I didn't mean it to be there, but then they liked it anyway. So the, the Lord uses our weakness. And then it just like took off. And then I get uh, communication from Malaysia and say, I want to do that in, in my teaching of my class and my Catholics here. How did you do that? And then Protestants love this during Lent. And mm-hmm. so people from over 50 countries have used it. How long does it take to create, for example, you did like the Sacred Art Museum. How mm-hmm. long did it take you to put that together? The Sacred Art Museum. Well, the Sacred Art Museum took a while because it has um, a, a beautiful structure. It's like a unique structure that I just made up. It wasn't based on any building. Mm-hmm. And it had this dome, uh, and the dome was made right. of, of these uh, glass uh, structures, which created kind of a sparkle effect and then um, just the archways. And so that probably took maybe, maybe a month. I would just, wow. Normally I would do it like a, just on a Monday, but sometimes I'd work like hours and straight because mm-hmm. you just get involved. You're just building, 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 building. Right. So um, it, it took maybe 30, 40 hours to build. And, but the key thing was that you could import a map image. Mm-hmm. And so you have high resolution images of sacred art. Right. Because the, a lot of the young people today who play Minecraft, they are totally unchurched. Their parents don't go to church. There is no sense. One person even said, this is the first time I've ever been in church. Really? And so just have that sense of evangelization. Mm-hmm. Holy Father Pope Francis, create new forms of evangelization. Right. Now, this is your catechetical hall, right? Correct. You teach catechesis. Mm-hmm. You wanted to surround it with sacred art. What is the power of sacred art. Pope Benedict one time uh, said that effective evangelization uh, accesses the the life of sanctity in the example of the saints and sacred arts because there is a sense of 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 a transcendence. Mm. So almost like within the iconography uh, that that it's a a window to something more magnificent because the the prayers that go in it, the representation, it's a means of right. proclaiming the faith, the mm-hmm. coronation of Our Lady. And, and we, we have the, the sense of her victory over death as a perfect disciple of Jesus Christ being crowned. And, and it's a the sense of, of, of the Blessed Virgin Mary as our mother and, and Jesus as a good Jew would do the Ten Commandments. One of them, honor your mother. <laughs> so he honored his mother. So, and all of this you can use in catechesis. I think it's so important today because there's so much ugly yes. in the world today. It's so true. And even people disfigure themselves, it seems. Yes. So we need the sense of beauty because that's an attribute of God, yes. right? Yes, absolutely. It's awesome. It's awesome. Right. Yes. In, in Thomas Dubé, uh, The Evidential Power of Beauty, or some mm-hmm. title like that, yes. and, and The Infinite Beauty is something that leads me into a sense of contemplation mm. and a sense of wonder and awe that in the midst of the ugliness of the world, we can have, for example, sacred architecture. And one of the themes of the Minecraft build is I reproduced maybe 40 uh, different churches, mm. like uh, the, uh, the Cathedral of Rems uh, or um, Chartres. Yes. A, a, and St. Peter's Basilica, Notre Dame, and all, and so there's like, I have like 40 of those wow. in, in presented. And it's like when you see the sense of the sacred in art re- represented, it's like, mm. whoa, maybe there's something more to life. Yes. Because when there is no sense of transcendence, when all that you have is an atheistic view, the person, the human dignity is denigrated. Mm because there's no transcendent or eternal value. Right. And so if it, you identify a person with identity politics, they're on the other side of an issue, mm-hmm. you just can c- cancel them right. and completely denigrate their value. Mm-hmm. But when we have a sense of the human being being made for infinite beauty and that the creation of, of that each human being is precious beyond measure, worth the blood of the Son of God, then that is something that immerses the person mm-hmm. into a transcendent, meaning for life. So we can talk about the treasury of beauty that the church has, sacred art, sacred architecture, Mm -hmm. 
sacred music I hear chant going on yes. in the background. So yes. why is there chant going the, on? Here? I have this going on all the time because it creates an atmosphere. We had our auditor, our auditor comes in, he's a convert to Catholicism, and, and he gave us like a 99 out of 100 for a good job on the audit. <laughs> but whatever as of excellence, what, if there's anything praiseworthy, think on these things. And mm -hmm. Philippians 4 verse 8, and so that the sacredness of the music disposes one to the transcendent. Mm -hmm. And uh, several people have come here and said, there's such a peace here. Right. I can pray more easily here. That's because of the art. And unfortunately, our architecture is kind of lacking here. <laughs> but uh, right. all in God's time. <laughs> now, Mother Angelica's awesome architecture. <laughs> well, last question here. The parish has grown under your pastorate. Mm -hmm. And do you think all of this has helped to contribute to draw people to encounter the sacred and maybe that's why they're coming here? Yes, yes. I try to teach everyone that they are called to holiness and that we can encounter God. And the encounter of God is something that leads to liberation from sin. And one of the things I try to emphasize is the sense of self-worth not in the sense of arrogant self-exaltation, but in the eternal beauty and value of every human being and purpose, and that in the gift of self, there is revealed the meaning of life and a joy that cannot be taken from you. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing the story of uh, Corpus Christi and Anianta, and I know that our viewers will enjoy it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and may Almighty God bless you. Father Jim, if you'd join me in this. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit bless you and fill you with the fire of His love. Amen. Amen.